what is going on between the governor of Edo State and the uh, Union of Teachers. Well, we hope that uh, there is really no serious clash between these two, but we are yet to find out exactly what the issue is between the governor and this union of teachers. Is it salary? Is it the number of students? What could have been happening? Well, we're yet to find out, but please, if you have not subscribed, hit the subscribe button right away. And also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell so you get updated anytime we drop a new video. Yes, my people, this is the best place to be. Yes, this is Saffron Media. We're here to give you the most trending, exciting, reliable, authentic happenings in Nigeria, especially in the area of politics and many more. Yes, right here it says that uh, Governor Baseki and Edo Union of Teachers, yes, the planned strike by Edo Union of Teachers will expose the hypocrisy of the union leaders. Governor Baseki has strengthened the education system, which is what the Edo Basic Education Sector Transformation, Edo Best program, is about. If one doesn't have literacy and, num and numeracy skills, such a person wouldn't be able to survive in the world. That is why Obaseki implemented the Edo Best program. Today, Edo has about 3,000 pupils in the public primary school system. Governor Obaseki can tell you when a teacher or pupil is in a class or when they have completed their lessons from my office through technology. In 2019, the union the Nigerian Union of Teachers NUT bestowed an award of the 2019 Best Performing Governor on the Governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseke. The teachers said the governor emerged as a winner of the award in recognition of his efforts in improving basic, basic education with several educational projects and teachers' welfare in the state. They noted that Obaseke has achieved so much in transforming the sector within three years of his assumption of office. Obaseki's administration is continuing with the upgrade of infrastructure utilizing the framework of the minimum standards of basic education in Nigeria. Edo Suburb has developed an infrastructure plan in addition to definition of what constitutes a standard primary school and a classroom to ensure that the reforms of this current administration will be sustainable. However, this administration also recognizes that infrastructure alone is not enough and has decided to adopt a holistic approach to improving the quality of basic education, provisions, and learning outcomes. Well, this is a good one because uh, Obaseki's name has been on another good book about that is uh, regarding that of the teacher union, the union of teachers in Edo State. Uh, remember that he said the plan strike by the Edo Union of Teachers will expose the hypocrisy of the union leaders because some of these union leaders are being used by some of the opposition party just to rubbish his government. But, you know, when you are upright in what you're doing, definitely it will show. But when you are lackadaisical about your duty, it will also show. So it's all good that uh, Governor Godwin Obaseki is actually putting, uh, actually making a stone on turn and uh, ensuring that even education in the state is top notch because he wants to ensure that every young child in the state gets an education. And that is exactly what he's doing. Remember that uh, they, he, uh, there was reports that in 20. Uh, 16 or in 2019 he got uh, the best performing governor in uh, Nigeria yes and that was the governor of Edo State uh, Godwin Obaseke he got that because he has been upright and he has ensured that uh, all students really get the best in their education and with also they also said that um, he also implemented the Edo Best program, and they said today Edo has about 3,000, 300,000 pupils, sorry, 300,000 pupils in the public primary school system. And, you know, it, they, it was even, they also said that when teachers or pupils are in the class, he could actually tell. If they are not well taught, he can also tell. And he also ensured that uh, most of these children are open to the new technologies in 
the world today. And uh, remember that also that he was also bestowed the award of the best performing governor in uh, Nigeria. That is the, go the governor of the state, Edo State. And also the teacher said the governor emerged as winner of the award in recognition of his efforts in improving basic education with several educational projects and teachers welfare in the state he's not just concerned about the children alone he's concerned about the teachers who take care of those children because remember why the education system these days have really gone down is because our government of today do not even recognize the teachers who labor over those children they owe them months and months and months of salary and you know these people cannot really put in their best because they are not motivated by you know the way they are being paid because formerly teachers used to be one of the highest paid but these days teachers are not even regarded and even now teachers are no longer teachers because now we just have people who are looking for employment and once they see a teaching job they jump into it and begin to teach there's really no love for teaching anymore. Just few teachers really have love for teaching. Unlike those days that we have a lot of th teachers that are really into this profession from their hearts. And they do this with everything that they've got and ensure that, you know, the student come out the best. But just the way the situation of the country is today, you see everyone who doesn't have a job once there's an opportunity for a teaching job, you see them jumping in. And even if they don't have passion for it, they just go there and do what they need to. That is why the impact is not really felt like it used to be those times. But uh, people like the governor of Edo State have actually shown to teachers that you can also do better. It's try to motivate them. It's not just making sure that the children are okay. It's also ensuring that the teachers are also okay because... He said his administration will not just look after the children, but he will also recognize the teachers. And also, he's not just into teaching alone. He also ensured that there's infrastructure for schools. I've seen states where in uh, some of the public primary schools, there are no seats in the classrooms. Even in some of the classes, there are no roofs. When it is raining, it pours on the pupils. When it is sunny, it suns on them. Public primary schools in so many states I've seen, but, you know, he is not that kind of governor. He is ensuring that infrastructural facilities are also in place to ensure a good learning and conducive environment for both the teachers and the pupils of the schools, the, of the public schools in his state. That is a government that is commendable and worthy of emulation. So, really... It is good that he is uh, he got the best performing uh, governor in 2019. What about 2020? What happened? Is it that he did not work as much as he did in 2019? Well, this is 2021, and we hope that he really does much more better than he has done before. So, my people, that is it from here. I really want to say thank you for listening. What do you have to say about this? Don't forget to drop it in the comment section and also give this video a thumbs up. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.